Welcome, my dear friends, to tonight's enchanting bedtime story. My name is Jacob Evans, and I create all the stories you hear, each one crafted from my heart to bring you peace and sprinkle a touch of magic into your dreams. In tonight's story, we shrink to the size of a dewdrop and discover a hidden realm. Guided by Leora, a fairy whose secrets are as enchanting as her miniature world. As you nestle into the comfort of your bed, let the soothing rhythm of our story set against the backdrop of this miniature realm cradle you in a soothing embrace. Even after our story ends, the gentle whispers of the night will linger, so there's no need to worry about it ending or the silence that follows. Now, make yourself comfortable, letting your body sink into the softness of your bed. You have done enough for today. Truly, it is enough. As you drift into sleep, I'll be right here, guarding over you with my voice. Let's start our tale with a couple of deep, calming breaths. Inhale deeply through your nose. And gently exhale through your mouth. Great. Once more. Breathe in. and out. Perfect. In tonight's tale, a touch of a glowing crystal beneath ancient roots shrinks us down to the size of an acorn, entering an unseen realm of miniature wonders. In this tiny world, every leaf becomes a vast canopy, and every droplet an ocean of mystery. Guided by the light of a friendly firefly, we meet Leora, a fairy as enchanting as the secrets she holds. She welcomes us to her hidden home, a place where the smallest things reveal the greatest wonders. As the line between the ordinary and the magical blurs, breathe deeply, close your eyes, and let's step together into this wondrous journey. I had always felt a mysterious pull towards the old forest at the edge of town. It was a place of whispered legends and unfathomable beauty, where the trees seemed to hum with ancient secrets. Today, driven by a sense of adventure, that I couldn't shake off, I decided to wander deeper into its heart than ever before. The forest welcomed me with a chorus of birdsong and the rustle of leaves. The sunlight filtered through the dense canopy, casting dappled shadows that danced upon the forest floor. 
As I ventured further, the world around me grew quieter, more profound, as if the forest itself was holding its breath. It was then that I stumbled upon it, an area of the forest that seemed untouched by time. In the center of this tranquil glade, nestled among moss-covered roots of an ancient tree, was a crystal. It wasn't just any crystal, though. It glowed with a soft, internal light, pulsating gently as if it had a heartbeat. Intrigued, I reached out, my fingers barely grazing its warm surface. In an instant, the world around me shifted. The forest floor seemed to rise. The trees stretching up into the sky like towering giants. Panic fluttered in my chest until I realized what had happened. I had shrunk down to the size of an insect. My heart raced with both fear and excitement as I took in my new perspective of the world. The once small pebbles now loomed like boulders, and the grass blades stood tall like rows of emerald skyscrapers. It was at this moment, in my newfound miniature state, that I heard a gentle buzzing sound approaching. Turning around, I saw a firefly, larger than life from my new perspective its glow warm and inviting. But this was no ordinary firefly. It had an intelligent look in its eyes, and it hovered in front of me as if it was examining me. And, to my astonishment, I realized I could understand its twinkling light as if they were forming words. Welcome, the firefly seemed to say with a flicker of light. I am Flicker, welcome to a world unseen by many. I stood there, awestruck as the reality of my situation sank in. The firefly's warm glow was comforting in the vastness of my new surroundings, and I felt a surge of curiosity overtake my initial fear. This tiny world, so vibrant and full of life, was waiting to be explored. Flicker flickered again, a gesture that felt like an invitation. Follow me, the light seemed to say, and see the wonders of our miniature world. And so, with a heart full of wonder, I began my journey into the depths of this unseen realm, following the guiding light of Flicker, the firefly. Guided by Flicker's gentle luminescence, 
I navigated through the underbrush, now a jungle of towering grass and sprawling roots. Each step revealed new wonders. Dewdrops hanging like pearls on leaves. Tiny insects marching like well-organized soldiers. And flowers that appeared as grand as trees. The world from this minuscule perspective was both overwhelming and breathtakingly beautiful. As we ventured further, the landscape began to change. The dense greenery opened up to reveal a clear, serene pond that mirrored the sky above. Its surface was dotted with water lilies, their petals soft and welcoming. And there, in the midst of this tranquil scene, was a water lily unlike any other. It glowed with a soft, ethereal light And on its broad, green pad sat a dwelling that was a masterpiece of nature and magic. This is the abode of Leora, the dewdrop fairy, Flicker's light conveyed, flickering with a tone of reverence. She is the guardian of this realm's deepest secrets and the heart of its magic. We approached the water lily and I could see the details of Leora's home. The structure was crafted from the finest of nature's offerings. Petals, leaves, and woven twigs, all coming together to form a harmonious and enchanting residence. As we neared, a figure emerged from the dwelling, delicate and radiant. Her wings shimmered like the morning dew catching the light in a kaleidoscope of colors. Her hair flowed like liquid silver, and her eyes sparkled with the wisdom of the ages. This was Leora, and her presence was as captivating as the world she guarded. Welcome, traveler, she spoke, her voice like a melody, echoing the natural harmony around us. I am Leora, the Dewdrop Fairy. You have journeyed far to reach my realm. Come, let me show you the wonders it holds. As Leora led me into her home, the first thing that struck me was the harmonious blend of elegance and natural beauty. The interior walls of the water lily were veined with a delicate pattern that glowed faintly, casting a soft, ethereal light. Tiny lanterns, crafted from hollowed-out acorns, 
and filled with firefly light, hung at intervals. Their gentle illumination, reflecting off surfaces adorned with a fine dust of pollen and shimmering dew. The furniture was a testament to the artistry of nature, carved from the wood of fallen branches and polished to a smooth, lustrous finish. Cushions made from layers of flower petals offered inviting comfort. Their colors vibrant against the more subdued tones of the wood. One area was dedicated to Leora's apothecary, where jars of various sizes filled with sparkling essences and dried herbs lined the shelves. Each jar emitted its own unique hue and fragrance, creating a tapestry of scents that filled the air. In another corner stood a grand bookshelf, carved from the bark of an ancient tree, filled with books of all sizes, Some were as tiny as a thumbnail, written in a script that danced and shimmered on the page, while others were larger, bound in leaves and petals. Leora's abode was not just a home, it was a living piece of the forest a space where every element was infused with magic and care. The beauty of it took my breath away, and for a moment, I felt like I was part of this enchanted world, far removed from the reality I knew. Leora guided me to a small alcove where a beam of sunlight streamed through a petal window, illuminating an array of dewdrops, each shimmering like a tiny world unto itself. Each dewdrop, Leora explained, her voice soft, yet filled with excitement, contains its own universe, its own story. With the right magic, one can glimpse into these tiny realms. With a wave of her hand, she beckoned me closer to a dewdrop that glowed brighter than the rest. Look closely, she encouraged. I leaned in, and the dewdrop magnified a miraculous scene. A microcosm teeming with life so detailed and vibrant that it took my breath away. It was a miniature forest within the forest, alive with creatures and plants unknown to the human eye. Through these dewdrops, we understand the interconnectedness of all things, big and small, Leota continued. 
They remind us of the delicate balance of nature and the importance of every creature's role in maintaining it. We moved through her home, each room unveiling more of the forest's secrets. Leota showed me how she conversed with water creatures, how she could coax plants to grow, and how each element of nature was in constant harmonious communication. As the day waned, Leora led me outside to the edge of the pond. Here, the water's surface was alive with the reflections of the setting sun, turning it into a canvas of oranges purples, and pinks. The forest is a living, breathing entity, she said, her gaze reflecting the beauty of the scene. Its magic is ever-present, ever-flowing, and always in need of guardianship. Our adventure took us around the pond, where I witnessed the symbiotic relationships between the plants and the tiny creatures. Leora explained each interaction, each connection, showing me a world perfectly balanced yet so fragile. Suddenly, a raindrop splashed nearby, sending ripples across the pond's surface. The sudden change startled me, but Leota was calm. Nature is ever-changing ever evolving. It teaches us to be adaptable, to respect its rhythms, she said, a smile in her voice. As the day turned to night, and the stars began to appear in the sky above, reflected in the pond below, I realized how much this tiny journey had changed me. The secrets of the dewdrops, the rhythm of the forest, and Leora's wisdom had opened my eyes to a world I had never known. A world that had always been there, waiting to be discovered. The night in Leora's realm was a symphony of whispers and twinkling lights. Fireflies danced around us, their glow casting enchanting patterns on the lily pads. Leora and I sat by the edge of the pond, watching this ballet of light, when she turned to me, her expression both serene and knowing. It's time for you to return to your world, she said softly. But remember, the magic you've witnessed here is always around you. In every leaf, in every drop of water, 
in every breath of wind. She reached into the folds of her dress and pulled out a small object. It was a dewdrop, perfectly preserved, shimmering with an inner light. This is for you. Leora handed it to me. Should you wish to return, to our miniature world. Swallow this dewdrop. It will bring you back to us. Holding the dewdrop in my hand, I felt a surge of gratitude and a pang of sadness. My adventure in this enchanting world was ending. But the memories and lessons would stay with me forever. I nodded, unable to find the words to express my thanks. Leora smiled, her eyes sparkling like the stars above. With a final wave of her hand, the world around me began to blur. The sensation of growing enveloped me. And within moments, I was back to my normal size, standing at the edge of the mystical pond in the heart of the forest. The night air was cool and fresh. I looked around, seeing the forest with new eyes. The magic of Leora's realm had imbued me with a deeper appreciation for the wonders of nature, the interconnectedness of all life. I pocketed the preserved dewdrop, a tangible reminder of the hidden world just beyond sight. As I walked back through the forest, the sense of awe and wonder remained with me. The adventure I had embarked on was not just a journey through a magical realm, but also an inner journey of discovery. And as the forest faded behind me, I knew that this was only the beginning. There were more secrets to uncover, more magic to witness, and I was ready for whatever wonders lay ahead.